Hey everybody, welcome back to Idaho Voyager, coming to you from the fabulous Oregon coast. And we are experiencing a week-long maiden voyage with our brand new RV, the magnificent Lance 2075. Coming up, an indoor walkthrough and review coming your way right now. The most amazing part of this trailer and really the piece de resistance for us is the bedroom. The bedroom in here is amazing. So first off, it's pretty good size. They give you plenty of room at the foot of the bed and this is a residential queen bed. But the window coverage in here is amazing. We've got the hikey skylight up here that we can pop when it's a nice day and it's got um, a shade for privacy and also a screen to keep the bugs out. So we can pop that open and let the air in. But then we've also got the stargazer window back there. When we're laying in bed, we can stare up at the stars and that also has a screen that comes down and a nightshade that goes up. And same thing on this side and these windows open out and then you can pull the screen down or the shade up and these pop out and you can open the windows out, but you can also leave them like I have here, which is this little intermediate lock. So it cracks the window to let air in, but you can see it's raining a little bit. So it doesn't let the water out in rather. And so when you look at this, you can see the kind of views that you get. So we're here at Casey's RV Resort in Oregon, right by the river. And so when you're sitting or laying here in this bedroom, you just have all of this outside that comes in. And really at the end of the day, that's what camping's all about. So this is just so, so nice and so enjoyable. And then on the sides, we've got the shirt closets. And then we've got a drawer here on either side. We've got um, power plugs, USBs, 12 volt. We've got some mood lighting in here. Also um, touch reading lights, which is really nice. We've got speakers for the TV which is right over there. So when we're watching movies, it's really nice because we've got speakers right over there on either side. So you get a real uh, surround sound feel for it. Wow, it's raining out. And then here we've got a nice little ledge here for some stuff and then extra storage. So really when you talk about the 2075 and you're looking at this trailer, the bedroom is the key part. And with a trailer that's overall pretty small, we've got about a 20, 21 foot box. The trailer from the tongue to the bumper is 24 feet, nine inches. So this is not a big trailer. And with a space this small, particularly without a slide, there is always going to be trade-offs. And the one piece to this trailer that you really maximize is the bedroom. Also in this bedroom, one thing we really like is it's really separated from the dinette, which we'll show you here in a minute, but the bedroom feels like it's a separate space. And obviously a small trailer, it's nice if one person wants to sleep in. Anna, do you like sleeping in? <laughs> and the other person maybe wants to work the dinette is in the back, but more importantly, we can separate it and it feels like a separate room because we have this nice curtain that really makes this room feel like a separate room and gives you some privacy here. 
And uh, Anna and I really mention all the time, just the fit and finish of this trailer and the way it feels. It feels like you're in a, uh, in a cabin in a cruise ship because a room, if you've ever cruised, is really not much bigger than this. And so you feel like you're in a uh, cruise ship room and you've got all the amenities that you need and then some. One of the great things about this trailer that we really love is the rear dinette. It's uh, separated from the bedroom, as I mentioned, but it also provides an awesome workspace here. Uh, we're at a resort here called our uh, Sea Perch RV Resort, just south of Yahats. Mm -hmm. And uh, Anna's got a pretty good little workstation going. How do you like the views? Not too bad. <laughs> And uh, they have really good Wi-Fi here, so that makes it very, very easy to work from the road. And so um, just really peaceful setting to get a little work done. And this allows us to get away more often if we're able to work a little bit from the road. Now I mentioned there are trade-offs, obviously when you're dealing with a small trailer. And in this case, the 2075 does not have the biggest bathroom in the world, but we find that it is big enough and we make it work. They do uh, give you some storage. So under the sink, there's quite a bit of storage here. And you've got a medicine cabinet up top and a nice vessel sink, which we really like. And uh, they got some creative space uh, here in terms of the toilet, it is elevated a little bit because that's the tire well, and that actually works pretty well, allows us to keep some stuff on either side of the toilet there, some spare toilet paper. We got a nice little hamper here for laundry. Shower is certainly big enough, gets the job done. If you're much taller than say 5'10", 5'11", uh, you're gonna feel maybe a little cramped here because the shower is elevated off the floor there. Um, we're not very tall people. Uh, we max out at about 5'7 on a good day with, uh, with some thick sneakers on. So this is more than enough space for us. But if you are over six feet tall, you might have to poke your head in the skylight. Uh, shower does come with a sliding uh, door that bows out on the top. So we find that it's big enough. We do have a remote control fantastic fan, which we really, really like. And the remote control uh, looks like that. And you push one button and the fan opens up and turns on. And then you can actually um, reduce the speed, etc. So that's kind of cool. If you want to keep uh, ventilation going here, uh, nice uh, towel uh, rod right there, which we really like. Little hand towel and a toilet paper holder, which uh, doesn't seem like a big deal, but the um, trailer we had before did not have those items, so it's kind of nice there. Uh, but overall, very functional bathroom. And again, with a trailer that's not very big, you have trade-offs. Having a smaller bathroom allows them to maximize the space in the bedroom and the dining room, which is the main living area. So we're good with that. All right, so moving to the galley now, uh, this is the entry door, which we absolutely love. It's kind of a unique door in the RV world. It's like an airline door. It's got map pockets right there. Uh, just really nice, has a pull-up shade here. Really nice handle. And then what we really love as well is this screen door to let the uh, outside in. And then the galley here, uh, not the biggest galley in the world. So you need to know that right up front. If you're looking for a big kitchen, this isn't it, but it's functional, it works, and it allows for more space in the bedroom and the dining room. So again, trade-offs. Uh, but very functional, nice bowl sink with a, a nice residential style faucet here. Huge window here that opens out. Again, blinds come up, screen comes down. Uh, two burner cooktop that opens to give you uh, access and then closes to give you countertop space. Really nice drawers 
top one for silverware and a very deep generous drawer there for pots and pans and other stuff and then a norco refrigerator and then underneath another drawer and again one of the themes with this trailer the 2075 is definitely storage above the dinette You've got more storage here and another hikey um, uh, rooftop uh, pop out vent where you can open it up. And then over here, you've got your lights. One thing we really love about this trailer, among other things, is the lighting. Very beautiful soffit lighting. If you want to turn those off, you can just leave the mood lighting underneath and you can see there's little shelves there to store things. I put my laptop right there, just very, very functional. Same thing with the windows, open out, blinds up, screen down. Nice shelf over there to store things. Here we have our little uh, coffee station. This actually opens up and there's a wine um, holding area there if you want to have wine bottles we choose not to do wine so we just use it as extra storage and then above you've got your uh, dvd player truma uh, combi water and furnace heater this is amazing um little area up there to store things i put my wallet and things up there so just a nice little extra cubby and then here you've got your pantry and then a couple of additional drawers there as well. Place for Josie's little feeding station. And overall, very, very functional. And again, you can't beat the window coverage in this unit. Um, the whole thing about camping is really letting uh, the outdoors come in, ideally, and enjoying the outdoors, and this trailer does that in spades. We'll be doing a review with our three biggest likes, and again, no trailer is perfect, so we'll also do three things we don't love about the 2075, or maybe we'd like to change. That's coming up in a separate video. However, one of the big items we love about this trailer is the windows. That is a slam dunk and tends to trump anything else. This trailer, in terms of the windows, is just absolutely amazing. Thanks for watching, everybody. Stay tuned because we will be doing other videos on the 2075 including the outdoor walkthrough and showing you all the massive storage that this trailer has. So stay tuned here on Idaho Voyager. And if you like the content, make sure to subscribe.